everybody wants to know that you are making progress so you have to make sure you dress well you have to make sure if the designers are there everything is fit but the problem there is that when you acquire things physically that your mind did not give birth to you you know a danger light a danger light sounds in the realm of the spirit and your mind interprets that breakthrough as a mistake it will alter itself to make sure that which you have leaves you and then it rests because you are now in your default state please understand what i'm sharing with you pastor sir if you carry one of your nice shirts and you give a young one of these uh, boys that drive truck or move around he would take it and say god bless you sir and wear it notice what will start happening to that shirt a shirt you wore for two years and is still looking like it's new now the guy wears it and after one month it starts to tear mysteriously it starts to fade the shirt is not tearing the shirt is revealing the mindset of the wearer Please understand what I'm telling you. Please sit down. Sit down. I want to share with you a principle now. Even if I'm not able to cover the remaining things, if you learn this, your life will change. Don't assume you know what I'm saying. Just pay attention and listen. Are we together? Look at me. Your physical environment is only a mirror. It's a mirror of what is happening in your mind anything you get physically that was not gotten here destiny the laws of god will treat it as an error and it will insist that it leaves you this is the fallacy this is why just prophesying to people alone to be blessed will not bring them into sustainable blessings because you can take advantage of the power of the prophetic and program possibilities and they now receive it but it's coming upon a mind that is not transformed the same law of god will interpret it as an error and will cause that breakthrough to vanish and the person returns back to his yesterday now listen your mindset is the only authorized channel for both God and Satan to come into your space mindsets are doorways they are not like doorways they literally are doorways are we blessed no matter what your background is please listen to me no matter what your background is you can transit yourself we have to be very honest with ourselves thank you jesus the transformation that happens to you so living a fake life is a dangerous way of punishing yourself because you're going to continue to recycle pain you will keep acquiring things that will only be short-lived there are people who buy cars the car is not here so the 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 discipline and the management system of responsibility that should be inculcated that makes having a car a blessing is not here so you have the car and your carelessness of that pedestrian type lifestyle is now punishing that blessing that god brings so you find out that you can't service it you can't wash it you can't clean it in two weeks your breakthrough has become like you you can get a job and your mindset will make will alter your behavior and make things go bad you can cast and bind and hate the people go to another place there are there are people who sustain understandings that can never bring destiny helpers to them you have not sustained the mindset that acknowledges and and brings honor you have not sustained the mindset that that acknowledges the sacrifices of great people you still have an understanding that trivializes greatness when you see great people you assume it was luck that kind of mindset because Comes repulsive to anything good you see any rich man you say look at these thieves they are carrying our jeep and you don't know that this honor closes that door whereas you secretly want a jeep in your heart you see a man of god who is anointed and he says he just got an impartation he says nothing what is there is god that imparts why don't you have it 
Now, I hope you understand I'm not being hard on you. I'm stretching you for a reason. We live in a society that has no regard for the sacrifices of people. You see a great man, a millionaire man who tells you he was born in one room and you just believe he was just lucky. So the day God brings you to meet him, that disposition of dishonor becomes pungent for any profitable relationship. There are people who the lifespan of their relationship is two weeks. Something about their minds must kill good things. It's not just to pray and say, oh God, bring a destiny helper, bring a life partner, bring a, a, what they call it, a business partner, and all of this. We only make a fool out of ourselves until your mindset is ready. It becomes a waste for good things to come to you. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're rising here only because you may listen it is not just because there was a curse in your family the curse does not work automatically the curse is mindset activated so it depends on the requisite level this is what strongholds are all about strongholds are demonic fortifications around a thinking pattern that insists that the victim continues to think that way it is the state that makes the word of god of non effect so it's not just that even if you come to the devil and say satan i donate myself he said i can't use you the way you are i need to program an understanding in you that makes my using you profitable you know we make it look like the devil just look up please please take seriously what i'm saying if you ever stop thinking about yourself start thinking about your children it will bring back your concentration to listen seriously to what we're saying apostle nothing is working in my family i agree and the reason is because there is a cause somewhere i may not disagree but that cause and that yoke needs an atmosphere it needs a mindset it needs a belief system the day the belief system is deconstructed it's called deliverance by transformation the messianic prophecy luke chapter 4 jesus took the scroll he said to preach deliverance not only to conduct it to preach Are we blessed? The law of mental transformation. I want to act out something right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying that we will never forget this for the rest of our lives. Let me show you how success happens. First and foremost, I want you to write. Success is not a product of what you do alone success happens as a reflection of who you are becoming success happens more because of who you are becoming than what you are doing please understand this true success lasting success transgenerational success is not just a product of what you do it's a product of who you are are we blessed okay um let me use maybe the let me have some gentlemen not our guests here i want about eight of you don't run from the crowd please just you just sit there members of this church any eight gentlemen please come let's celebrate them as they come anybody if we don't have any you can yes just just pick a few people please come eight of you stand facing me please four of you here four of you here watch this the Lord gave me this revelation last year and it blessed me. One more person, please. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. 
thank you very much it's my prayer that you will never forget what you are acting in the name of jesus now watch this please look up this is success every one of these people let them represent faces of life and levels are we together are we together please the transforming church are we together now watch this there is a law that god himself put on earth in his dealings with men please watch this the possibilities that we command are a reflection of the realms that we are in mentally speaking first spiritually speaking but mentally speaking all of these dimensions have their blessings attached to it is that all right now watch this everybody watch this don't mind all my acting I'm, I'm insisting that you must understand this is why watch this all of you lift what you're holding please now I am here let's call this level zero please look at this and yet I covet that blessing is everybody seeing it now I covet that man's blessing so by living a fake life I quickly go and get it or they dash me the law immediately detects that there is a problem because i did not grow to the realm that makes this happen this thing will reject me and go back it will bring me back to this realm because i did not grow into that success at this realm watch this i don't have a car i don't have a house i'm in one small room are you getting what i'm saying now this is the realm where you have estates this is the realm where you command the wealth of nations so god speaks to you i will take you far like abraham are we together now genesis 28 if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day then i will set you on high above the nations of the earth and this blessing will come upon you and overtake you so you are here you are hearing this now what many believers do is to continue to to falsely believe and dream and do all kinds of superstitious things in hope that they will reach there the key to getting all this is not looking for them one by one god already saved you that stress because you don't even know some of the things you need the key is to grow now watch this as you grow this is what i want you to do please dress back a little guys for every step i take come towards me too are we ready watch this so i'm studying and i'm praying in my room watch what is happening to me i'm growing mentally these are the things i want and while that is happening i'm still broke when i grow to this level watch this someone now says man of god the lord led me to sow ten thousand now watch this i thought i just entered it you would notice that you come to a realm where People never saw more than 10,000, 10,000, 5,000, but at least something is happening. I'm growing. Then I look at great people like Papa Ia Deboe. For it, do you know, watch this. If Papa Ia Deboe, if you see him in a restaurant now, trying to get food, his realm will fight that result. Are you seeing that now you will come to him quickly and say daddy no please go back home why are you doing that because a level of transformation and the sacrifice that result is an insult to that realm if papa deboe stands in this church now and says brethren i don't have a vehicle before he finishes before he spells vehicle there will be more cars outside than he needs it's not just because he's anointed the realm of growth necessitates you can't be in this realm without a car no matter how modest you are please sit down now instead of watch this instead of sitting here and dreaming of cars and say i must get a car i must get a media interview is here the media interview is in this realm is there so this is what you do while you are growing you are studying you are sitting under a pastor you are growing you are growing you are growing you start seeing results now watch this notice you know you are changing because what you have starts running away from you 
your one room starts pushing you out of it into a two bedroom flat it has nothing to do with being humble it's a law no matter how modest you are you grow to a point where that space starts fighting you notice as you grow certain friends that you have it's not whether you want to fight them or not it's not whether they are good or you are good or not the reality of your growth does not allow that kind of company again one by one your contact starts changing notice look at me many of you today you cannot tell me where your first phone is remember you didn't throw it remember you didn't give it so it was a living thing when you grew beyond 3310 it left and gave room for another one to come listen true prosperity is prosperity through growth please let's go back god is showing you your mental state now oh god this is 2020 will my life change god says it depends on you last year they spoke over my life but it did not change this is what prophecy did prophecy pushed you but your lack of transformation reversed you and brought you back instead of living a fake life someone here is going to say lord all these things are in abuja and it is true that the word has come from my pastor but i will pay the price to grow for step by step you lead me and i will follow you all of my days listen once upon in my life as a man of god i would go to preach somewhere you've heard me say it and that was my level of transformation i was anointed but it would be an error to be at this realm with that mindset listen your future is looking for you but you've heard me say it's not looking for this version of you so when your future comes he says you are not there because the version it was authorized to bless your prosperity keeps visiting you every day but it does not find you because the version of you it was authorized to bless you have not become it the golf is in your destiny the jeep is in your destiny but every time the jeep visits you it is prohibited from resting upon you because you have not grown to a level where a jeep becomes fair to live with you you can fake it and save and buy you will pay the price and lose it in three in three there are people who should not have anything to do with a business class in the name of honesty you have not transited to that level when you sit there you feel guilty you feel unfair you will know you have not grown to that level now please sit down I need to say this because sometimes we act faith is not foolishness we are people of faith but be honest to grow honorably you may be here now you can do your quiet road transport tomorrow you will go to the park and pay for four seats you are still in the park but you are paying for four seats you are growing next time you will take a cab from the park you are growing is that true next time you will now have the luxury to have a driver and a golf that will be taking you every time one time if you refuse to buy a car the ram god's justice system will force someone to give you there is a realm you cannot enter and remain and not be a millionaire it has nothing to do with whether you want to be or not if you actually grow to that realm it it is a violation of that law to be in that realm and still be scratching a recharge card to put in your phone or still be getting one gallon of fuel i'm not trying to be carnal you understand what i'm saying imagine seeing papa here deboe now at a black market quickly trying to just fuel his car now it when watch that scenario the owner of an oil company that is tied to his church will be quarreled as if he failed to to fulfill a task 
why did you allow our father to be at a filling station and he takes responsibility there is a realm where nobody celebrates your birthday you have to remind everybody for instance now look up please now i'm not being sarcastic sit down sit down please sit down sit down i'm not being sarcastic this is ladies and gentlemen look up look up i'm just showing you that these are realities there is no reason to be listen there is no reason to be to feel bad because you are growing are we together there is a realm where you borrow credit there is a realm where you calculate how much per text there is a realm where you must be in touch with every uh, uh what they call it every communication package to see the cheapest there is a realm where you enter a place and ask how much because you don't want to disgrace yourself and it's an honorable realm it's better to be wise than to to embarrass yourself and your loved ones but there is a realm where you don't think cost you think value and there is a realm where you don't think value you think experience they are all realms are we together you cannot be flying a business class and say please send me credit you are not honest you are not there it's very clear that you are not there now watch this all of us are seated here this is 2020 and your growth will determine your blessing lord everybody in my family came with a mindset that authorized darkness to destroy us but here at the transforming church i'm under a pastor who is mentoring me well it's time to be intentional about my growth you are learning leadership you are learning spirituality you are learning finance you are learning character you are growing are we together you when you get to a realm all the people in that realm have been cultured in a certain way so they know those who are not supposed to be there everybody in that realm should be well behaved even if you are not godly the ethics of that realm necessitates that you are cultured you cannot be a hooligan and find yourself in that realm so when you are in that realm and you are misbehaving sooner or later the body language of that realm will drive you out because you have not gotten there honorably you can escort a friend to that realm and with with digital precision they will fish you and say sorry let's show you a way out because something about your mental disposition betrays you there are people who are men of god but you have not sustained the intelligence the discipline the diplomacy the leadership and the spirituality to be given a mic to speak over a church you will start with a teenage group don't fight stay there make your mistakes embarrass yourself forget the verses misquote scripture make theological mistakes and grow when you grow you can have a little youth church they can say okay lead prayers lead praise and worship don't stand and say you are insulting me you don't know when i started ministry it is not the passage of time chronos it is the transition that is in your mind when it has to do with mental transformation overtaking is allowed